we do the zombie bank. The zombies were having fun. Capitalism is not exactly as old as the hills. Humans may well have been motivated by profit, even in the days of cavemen, but nowadays we are seeing a concentration of wealth, well, of profit in a small group of people. Capitalism also engenders a neo-worship of money and propels those with money to positions of power. Not only is human nature prone to wish others to mimic one's own behavior, but also in the case of capitalism, our oligarchs wishes to mimic their behavior, which enriches them too. And so we have a self-perpetuating pyramid, owned, maintained, and encouraged by the very same group of people. Capitalism adores the power of money amorally. Hence, from our media to our wars and our daily lives, a religion of capitalism is foisted upon all of us. Consumerism, debt, speculation, bribery, corruption, profiteering, all are increasingly our daily input. Communism recognized capital as a tool of materialism, yet believes it should be in the hands of all of the people. Karl Marx did have spiritual and psychological insights into human behavior, yet communism was unable to withstand the devious tricks of capitalists that undermined a worker's solidarity with self-interest. And our mercantile capitalism has usurped the communist credo of conquest of the industrial plants by the working class. In fact, our modern capitalism has exported most of the means of production to Asia, and Marx pointed out that capitalism requires endless conquests of new territories. Islam has also been attacked by capitalism, and usury is very present in Islamic nations. But this is a setback rather than a replacement of a way of life. Capitalism ensures we are all talking at cross-purposes. For the pursuit of profit, lies are invested in, and not only is it difficult to see through the spin and to refuse the profit incentive in repeating it, but we can be penalized for refusing. By seeing profit as preeminently desirable, we are told our wars are for the resources, and in keeping with our capitalist religion, we find this understandable. But in fact, our wars are religious, racial, and ideological. Everywhere we are privy to playing the capitalist game, but the game is rigged. While the small man is supposed to be able to play the stock market, go to gambling houses, and gain interest on savings, he or she is not able to compete with those who actually hold the capital and they can manipulate the market for purely ideological or strategic convenience. More than half of the UK's foreign debt is owed to private institutions. Obviously, their desires override any other considerations. Ominously, we have seen the rise of contractors, private armies of mercenaries. There is more to capitalism than meets the eye. We simply assume it is a way of providing for our needs and wants. In fact, it is directing our souls and self-identity. Our nightly news informs us of the state of the stock market, our balance of trade, and how much borrowing per capita is going on. These are all supposed measurements of our well-being, and they are also points of news that would be near absent in any other economic system. We are taught in school how we have developed into a classless society, where social mobility is now possible for anyone. Unlike the olden days, when there was a strict division between the aristocracy and the people, now we are informed that by the size of our bank account we can mix with anyone. Maybe, but that does not mean you can say whatever you want. Of all the tens of thousands of chairmen of corporations, has even one of them said or whispered anything anti-war? No. Most of those profiting from capitalism have to actually keep their mouths shut. A shrewd business person does not reveal their cards. It is the speculators and merchants that have risen to the top, and they can only succeed by concealing their true aims. This does not bode well for the moral fiber of a society. However, I believe there is a secret priesthood sitting behind the capitalists and the money printers. In fact, our society is filled with secret societies. The Freemasons are perhaps the most publicized. And the moral codes of the laws and the land are dictated by the same people upholding capitalism. Is it any surprise that we are increasingly adopting terms like the dumbing down of society? How better to rule over others? A lot of people think our Western societies are now run by criminals. 
It seems the richer one is, the less taxes one pays. But this too is a diversion from reality. Taxes and foreign aid are actually small amounts of money when compared to the transactions of the financial services. Banks and insurance companies, the profit, which is a form of taxation, is so huge that we really are in their hands. And to add insult to injury, looking at a bank's name means absolutely nothing as to who or where the real owners are. In the name of capitalism, China now owns huge amounts of our financial wealth. Capitalism is the destroyer of nations, the destroyer of the artisan, the destroyer of the soul. All that matters is how much a person consumes and how much debt they generate. That is how our economies are assessed. The Alternatives Socialism, Islam, Barter, Agrarian In most places, hybrid is really what we have now. Sharia law states, no exchange of money without an exchange of goods. In such a world, there can be no profiteers, just speculating on other people's sweat. Also, there can be no gambling, and insurance is considered a form of gambling. Nor can there be usury, that is, interest rates. So we can already see that contained in Islam are many economic laws. And just from those few laws mentioned here, our world would be a different place. Right now we must continue being bombarded with advertisements to consume, to eat GM foods because they are profitable, and to borrow money. The size of the advertising industry is amazing, and how much is paid to people to display an ad? Of course, this then corrupts people all along the way. In fact, capitalism is a misnomer. It should be called corruptalism. That is all it does, from the media to the ministers to the police, and to our souls, causing too many people to resort to pretending they are something they are not. Capitalism has become a religion. We gauge our collective progress by the state of the economy, how much is being consumed, borrowed, and spent, and all the time the figures do not add up, and they never can. Now one Ponzi scam after another is invented to float an economic system that is criminal by its very nature. In capitalism, that is, the worship of money, only those that can afford health care deserve it, and the same for education and various other needs. Yet we are all given a dream of having some of the paper money to spend, when in reality, spending money is increasingly the reserve of the criminal class. The zombie bank. The zombie bank. Such a terrible stank. We do the bank. Once our profits have sank. We do, the bank. we do the zombie bank. The zombies were having fun. Wow. The bailouts had just begun. The banks were barely alive.